Let's take a look now at another tool with LMN estimating that's really going to help you estimate A, faster, and B, much more consistently in your company. And these are called work area templates. Now, work area templates are just groups of labor, equipment, and materials so that your estimators don't forget to count stuff, but also they come with calculators so that you can figure out how long per square foot or how many cubic yards per square foot, the things that'll make estimating really consistent across your estimators. What ends up happening in a lot of companies is you can give the same job to two estimators and come out with two significantly different prices. What happens when two estimates are significantly different is that the one that's over stands a better chance of being lost or not getting the work, and the estimate that came in under where it should have been is potential for loss. So we want to eliminate that in our company, and we'd like it so that across all our estimators, we've got a very small margin of difference between estimator A, B, and C when they all estimate the same property. And work area templates will help you get there, whether your estimators have been with you for 20 years or 20 days. Right now I'm gonna jump into LMN and I'm here under the estimate setup, work area templates menu. And these are not estimates yet, they're just templates that we're gonna use for estimating. Let's start now by looking at a template for lawn cutting. Now this template's really simple, especially when you compare it to some of the templates you might use for construction. Basically, a maintenance template might look something like this. In the name, we've got maintenance, lawn, and then I've got average, because this is gonna be an, a lawn of average difficulty, a normal amount of beds and curves and that sort of thing. Underneath the customer description, I'm gonna put my lawn care specifications. So these are the specs that I wanna show my customer when we deliver the price. Now, some people, like the specs at the end of the contract in the terms and conditions section. And if that's the case, you don't need to put them here. You'd put them in your terms and conditions. But if you like them right near the price, so basically it'd say lawn mowing and then the price, and then it would list these specs, you wanna put the specs here in your template so that each and every time you add this template to an estimate, these automatically get added to the estimate for quick and easy proposals. That's the beginning stuff. The bottom is really simple for lawn maintenance anyway. When you're going to cut grass or maintain a lawn, really you've got a crew and you've got their equipment. That's about all you need to think about. Now in the earlier videos, we set up these already. We set up our maintenance crew and we set up our crew truck and maintenance trailer so we know we've got the right cost, the right break even, and the right prices for both these things. We just need to figure out now how long it's gonna take us to cut a lawn. So this is a template, it's not an estimate. So we're not estimating somebody's specific lawn, but we can make sure that every time we do estimate a lawn, I'm just gonna go add new, and then I would add the labor and the equipment that we created for maintenance. I have already done that. Both those items are here. Once they're in, now it's a checklist. So the estimator, when they're estimating lawn maintenance, knows they have to put in time for the crew and time for the equipment. Pretty simple, but equipment often does get forgotten. The next step we can do though to make this even more efficient and effective is by setting up calculations. So this calculator here allows us to create a ratio. So if we can cut 10,000 square feet of lawn in 0.2 man hours, then I can enter that here. You can enter whatever ratio makes sense to you. You can do it by 1,000 square feet or you can do it by how many square feet you can cut in an hour, whatever works for you. But then LMN is gonna use this ratio calculation to come up with how long it's gonna take on any lawn. Basically, once we set this relationship up, when we go to estimate a bid and we use this template, it'll ask the estimator, well, how many square feet's the lawn? They're gonna plug in 12,500 and it will calculate how long it should take to cut it. You can also set up time for your equipment and trailer as well. However, I wouldn't advise it for maintenance templates because the size of the crew here changes. Remember, crew is in man hours. So if it's gonna take two guys half an hour to cut, we're gonna need one man hour. Half an hour for one person, half an hour for the other. But the truck could only be there for half an hour because each person doesn't need the truck. So these don't always match. I'd start by just making sure that your labor calculator is set up to help you calculate how long things should take. And that's it. We've got our name, we've got our customer specs, we've got the two items we need to think about when estimating, and we have a calculation to let us know how long things should take. Now we can take that a step further because that really is just for an average lawn. And a lot of people like to estimate with a, a, B, or C, sort of an easy, an average, and a difficult lawn. You can do that very quickly now that you've got the average set up. Simply open the one that you set up already, average, 
and go down here and click Save as New. Now I'm going to type up here, Maintenance Lawn Difficult. So this would be for a difficult lawn that would take us longer than normal to cut. I'll click OK and the name up here changes. So what it's done is created a copy of our average and now call this one Difficult. Now the specs don't change and I don't need any different crews and equipment. All I really need to do is change how long we take. So I click here on the calculator and now that we're on a more difficult lawn, it's going to take us longer to cut this property. So what I'm going to do is put in my new time for 10,000 square feet. Maybe that's 0.28 hours. So it's going to take us longer to cut 10,000 square feet, obviously, because the property is more difficult. Click OK and then click OK again. And now I've got an average template and a difficult template. Now we can also create a template for an easy line just as quickly. Open up the average again. Don't need to change the name or anything else, but we do need to click Save as New. This time I'm going to name this one Easy and I'll click OK. Now I'm going to change the rate. Click the calculator. It was 0.2 hours. If it's an easy lawn, it's going to take us less time. So we'll change that to 0.15. Click OK and click OK. Now we have an average, a difficult, and an easy template for estimating lawns of those difficulties. Now some people like to take it even more detailed. We can show you another template here. You may have noticed this one, maintenance lawn, and it says detail beside it. I met lots of estimators that like to break down their time more. So here I've created an example where you can create a crew for mowing, trimming, blowing, and have separate calculations for each. For example, the mowing is 0.2 hours for 10,000 square feet. The trimming is one hour per 3,500 linear feet. The blowing is 0.25 hours for 20,000 square feet. Now that we've set that up, when we add this one to the estimate, it's actually going to ask us three questions. How big is the area for mowing? How long is the area for trimming? And how big is the area for blowing? And you can come up with a labor calculation for the total property that way. So if you like estimating with a little more detail and a little more measurements, this is the way to do it. The only difference to this template, it's really easy to set up. The only difference from the previous one is that when I added labor, I added the crew one, two, three times. One for mowing, one for trimming, one for blowing. And you can add it as many times as you need it. I really don't need to change the equipment because the equipment can all stay together. Now I'm gonna hit cancel here because I've already added these. But once I add the crew three times, the crew comes three times into the template, which allows me to create three different factors for calculations. And of course I could add 12 if I needed to. You can have as many crews as you need. Now that I've got this set up, I've got a, a detailed maintenance template that I can use for estimating work with more measurements and more detail. And just like we did with the other templates, I could save as new and do the very same thing for difficult and easy properties to cut. Now maintenance isn't just about cutting grass, there's other stuff we do as well. So you can certainly create templates for maintenance that'll help you estimate other types of work more quickly, like mulching. So here, for example, I've created a template called mulching by hand. Now this kind of example would be anything like mulching or fertilizing or anything where there's labor and materials involved. First, I created a customer description. So again, these are the notes that are gonna come out on my proposals that I end up giving to the clients. Then I went add new and I added a crew, I added the truck, and I added three types of mulch. Now we're not gonna use three types of mulch on one property, or at least it's not likely we're gonna do that. But I put three in there, so I don't need a new template for each type of mulch. I'll put all my mulch in this template, and then the estimator will simply add the one to the estimate that they need. Don't forget, this isn't an estimate, this is just a template. When we're adding this to an estimate, the estimator will just pick whichever one of these they wanna use, and that's it, the other two they can delete. Once again, I'm gonna set up my calculations. So my maintenance crew says, we can take one hour to install one and a half cubic yards of mulch. Now, obviously you'd customize this to whatever your crews operate at. And don't forget I'm doing this one by hand. If you had a mulch mule or a mulch blower, obviously you'd have very different calculations based on your template for that. Now they also have a crew truck with a five ton dump and a dump trailer. I'm gonna need some way to get mulch to the site. And then I'm gonna need the mulch. 
So I've got brown, black, and natural. All are going to have the exact same installation ratios. It's one yard per 100 square feet at three inches. So every 100 square feet of property, I'm going to need a yard of mulch. So what's going to happen when we use this on an estimate is I'm going to drop mulching on my estimate. And then it's going to ask us how much of these we need. My estimator can use whichever mulch they'd like to calculate the quantities. You know, if it's 300 square feet, it's going to tell us we're going to need three yards of mulch. Once the estimator knows how much mulch, they'll simply go to the crew and say three yards of mulch is going to take two man hours based on these calculations. And then we know that's going to take two man hours. We'll calculate how much time the truck is going to take. And of course, that's going to depend on how many guys in the crew. Is it two man hours with a five man crew or two man hours with a one man crew? Very different truck time. But regardless, now you've got a system for estimating mulch that's going to be quick, easy, accurate, and consistent across all your estimators. You can do it the same principles with things like fertilizer, annuals, anything else that you can calculate materials by square foot. Now, for those of you who do snow as part of their maintenance uh, division, you can check out the snow videos on how to create templates. But essentially, they're exactly the same as what we just showed you for the lawn maintenance, but they apply to snow. If you look here, you can see I've created a snow plow operator, a crew truck and plow, and then the different types of salt I might use. Whatever salt the estimator needs on that property, I'm going to add, do my calculations by square foot or acres, and we'll have the exact same thing we had for lawn maintenance, but just applicable for snow plowing. And of course, you'd have lot A, lot B, lot C for different difficulties, and you'd probably need different templates for the different equipment packages. A skid steer is going to plow a little bit faster than a truck. A loader is going to plow much faster than either a skid steer or a truck, and depending on the property size, of course. Once you have those templates created, estimating snow work is also quick and easy as well. So stick with us, and in the next video, we'll get to estimating maintenance work so you can see how to put all this stuff into action when actually bidding a job. If you have any questions about putting together templates for your maintenance estimates, feel free to email us at support at goelmn.com. And if you're looking for live training, like our workshops all around North America and the world, our webinars, or any of our free training events that we hold at our offices, then check out our events calendar at www.golmn.com events.